not the kind of day to be outside. Hello, Mr. Flower. It's the kind of day to be inside inside the shed and watching one of uh, the Mr. Dunn Flyer's little workshop videos uh, enticed me out into the shed to have a little play around. Now, my plan is to, hold on a minute, just, Andy, just, whoa, mate, just wait there a minute. So my plan is to take this seat that I've purchased, uh, used off uh, eBay, and, oh sorry, I should have prepared this a bit better first. And, attached to it, this. My Givy uh, Mono something. That is being banged on there. Basically. Oh yes. Oh yes indeed. I like top boxes. Uh, I had an R1. The Yamaha R1 with a top box. My Honda Bros had a top box. I like having a boot on a bike. To that end, I've already made a hole in the rack for the lock so I can get the key in. So that basically determines exactly where this rack goes and uh, the positions I've chosen there correspond about there and there on the base. Ish. I just have to think about uh, exactly how I'm going to make the holes. I do not want to drill from here straight into the foam because the um, the foam will bind around the drill bit and it'll make a mess and it'll pull the foam around I suspect inside the seat it won't be clever. So my plan is to find some sort of nail or sharp implement push it through until I'm at least making some sort of mark in there and then I can drill from this side once I know exactly where the hole needs to be. Yeah. Something along those lines. The first step is um, getting the holes in the right place. I shall put the key in. Now my fingers are getting in the way here, you can't really see what's going on very well but I've got the clearance in there it's, it's pretty much central. You can see the end of the key is lining up more or less with the little hole in the rack at the top. It's close enough for me. So with the key in place, I'm looking at using these two holes. So what I can do there is just do a cross across the corners of the square hole and there's my centers hopefully Woo, just back there and there well, I'm drilling through eventually so there's no point to me being uh, careful about these things the center is there and the other center is there. You don't want to know how much this seat cost as well. It hurts a bit to be doing this in this seat, but I wanted the seat. I didn't want a Chinese one, because the Chinese ones don't come with the straps. And this is from a S1000RR. And this has got the four complements of straps. On my S1000 seat, for some reason, it only comes with the top straps and not bottom ones. No idea why. So, whole position's made. I just have to have a think about uh, exactly how I'm going to go through and get into this plastic. Okie dokie. So, my concern with uh, dri I've actually remade uh, the hole there because I was slightly not level with the other hole. Um, the problem my worry about drilling through here was uh, a big drill bit kind of getting caught with the um, foam, wrapping up the foam, pulling it about inside the seat, making a mess of things. Now I haven't got many drill bits to play with unfortunately, I really need to buy some more. 
<laughs> I bet people are familiar with this sort of site. Most draw bits missing, some broken. Um, but okay, that's none of that's going to work really. But my thought anyway is to get a very small draw bit, or as small as I can, through the holes. Make a small hole from one side. Small draw bit shouldn't pull a, pull the foam around, and then I can draw from the other side and make a bigger hole. But have I got a small draw bit? Oh yeah. Well, okay, that might do the job. Bit of a chunky helix to that though. Yeah, it's close, but we should be okay. Just trying to push it through to the plastic so I can just drill. Ah, we're through. Nice one. Yay, look at that. Come on, where are you? Down you go, there you go. Oh, I'm on a uh, reverse. We're through, done. There we go. Not bad at all. Fairly, fairly, relatively, not very horizontal. But close enough. Bang that bad boy in. Before I get too crazy pushing down on the seat, this is not the cleanest work surface in the world. So let's just cover that up. easy one are we good yeah we're in the night oh, we're right. job done By the way, I haven't thought about the top two, where they're going to be yet. I'm just going to get started with the bottom two. Because um, as obviously this tapers off, I haven't got a lot of leeway with the holes. And I have to line it up on the other side and avoid quite a bit of funny stuff around here. So I haven't sussed that one out yet, but... Small steps, Ellie, small steps. Now, I might need to do more drilling just to get through the foam, because I doubt if this is going to push its way through the foam and get out the other side. Oh, I can see, look at that, it's pushing through. Uh, it strikes me that um, these bolts aren't long enough. Oh, we're through, though. That bad boy. If I push hard enough, <laughs> they're through. That's you. Come on. Ooh, where are I? Ooh. Ow. That was such a effort, it hurt my hand. We're through, I just I lack the strength to push it through. So we are through, but I think actually these bolts are not long enough because once they go through this as well, I think we're really going to be struggling. Um, I've put rubber bungs on, which I might have to take off and replace with washers. But I just want to spread the weight and it pushes down on this plastic. I just want to spread the pressure around a little bit. And I think take up a bit too much room. Yeah, I can't see me getting through the other side with this lot. I need to do a little bit of searching and or shopping. Get myself down to home base or something. Other hardware stores are available. Back with you shortly. 
Right, uh, there's the original bolt, that's I found it's a bit too short. I have a collection of mismatched crappy <laughs> bolts. Oh, they had to be the same height, didn't they? Great. They're slightly longer. Allen bolt. Uh, it's a shame that it's uh, kind of a countersink type thing. Well, that's not going to play with this. I might go that way. Oh, that looks all right. I don't think that'll do too much damage to the rubber bow. I like that. I do like that. So we'll see if that plays ball. Will they be long enough? Uh, will I be able to push them through far enough to get on, on the other side? That's the question. And do the nuts I had planned for the original bolts fit this one? Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, the locking nuts, I can't go very far, but it seems to be happy. No slop there. Job done. So what we're talking about here, we're talking about you. Just got to get you lined up. Oh, there you are. I was going to go for a washer as well as the bolt, but you know, Things are tight here. I haven't got a lot of space. I was going to go for a big fat washer. Oh, I can still. Just to spread the load. Let's see. I can just get you on. I'll get you on where we're in. Good stuff. Let's tighten you a tad. Right, several turns, we're good. Now to uh, force the other one down and through, which might be awkward. Oh gosh, that's gonna take a bit of pushing, that is. And there's, oh, I'm through, <coughs> but it's keeping the pressure on. <coughs> to have all this stuff come together. Oh my God, I'm pushing against my sternum. And I don't know where the nuts are. Oh, there you are. Oh, that's gonna ache. Oh, you, oh, you son of a bitch. Can you see it? Oh, that was not good. And again, oh, pushing in the same area of my lower chest. That's it, my chest cavity will take the strain. Ah. <laughs> that was quite uncomfortable. So. so I just want to get enough bite to get back past the uh, plastic of the locking nut. And we're, uh, and we're good. We've started. So hopefully, key in. Okay, key's not in. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, we'll push it down. Yeah, we're good, we can still turn the key once the other two are bolted in and it's all tight. Right, so here's the uh, roofing bolts, basically. Oh, ho, 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 we are in. There's uh, maybe a little bit of slop, but goes on happy enough. A bit of that. A bit of that. Woo, there you go. I'm not proud of the, of the results here. But if it goes, it goes. If it sits, it fits. All right, all right, yeah, I think it's... We're in, we're in, we're in, that's it. Do as I 
say you're through. So you can't really see this, but I need to push from that side and screw in from this side. That's it, it's, uh, it's bit, we're good. I bloody loved it, I do. That's in, that is. So let's have to spend a bit more, a bit of time in a minute uh, leveling it up. Right, we're through, we're on the locking plastic. We are in. We've got it sorted. I imagine I need to do a bit more fine tuning but hopefully, yes, look at that. We're basically there. Oh, let's get the key again. I'm gonna take the key out, it's in the lock state, which means it won't push down, so I've gotta unlock it, lock it. That was my plan for today, get this on. It is on. What does uh, what's the wobble like with the case on? Yeah, wobbly. That's okay. I haven't strapped the sat seat down, so I'm, I'm planning to get the uh, seat straps out and then strap underneath the seat. You got there for now. Stay there till I need you. So yeah, that's it. We're in. Put my little cover on. All needs a bit of a wipe down, but mission complete. I likes it. <laughs>